Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Grace from Grace's House of Plants. I hope you're okay and I hope you're looking forward to today's video. Today's video is all about international shipping, preparation, how to, what's best, tips, tricks, whatever I've learned in my two years of running an international plant business. Hopefully this helps, gives you an insight into all the things you need to consider to make sure your plants survive the transit. I filmed this video live in practice doing an order which is going or was going to the US and has safely arrived and this order included three different types of plants all needing different conditions so you're seeing as well the real deal me working away in my Sunday doing my shipment in my kind of comfy outfit so don't mind that um before we start the video though i do want to say a massive thank you for the support this channel has received i'm not particularly regular in posting but i do always put a lot of effort into the ones i do post and i'm really grateful for the support only the other day i noticed that my first video reached 10,000 views which i know maybe sounds small to lots of people but for me this is a massive milestone so thank you and continue please messaging commenting and reaching out if you have any questions or like recommendations to what you'd like to see from this channel going forward finally i do want to take this opportunity to also share with you a little something that i started in the kind of my spare time in january as you all know i love as you can see beautiful interiors particularly plants but all types of decoration that you can use to perfect your house inside and I got really into making candles at the beginning of this year so with these candles I tried out, I tried out lots of different molds and essentially found that one of the molds with the bubble cube was particularly pretty but only when I got my paintbrush out and I hand painted them with plant vibes plant inspired decoration. This candle has now become the best seller on my small Etsy shop that I set up, which is incredible and I'm really grateful and I just love seeing people posting their photos of my plant inspired candle in their plant shelves or interiors. So if you are interested, I will put the link down below. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video and most importantly, I hope you love the outfit I'm rocking in my comfy Sunday vibe. Okay, so this is our first cutting that we're gonna be shipping. So essentially, like we've got some really big aerial roots which all have growth, so we don't wanna kind of break that and affect that. And obviously we want it to be still wet inside the package whilst it's traveling, so we want some kind of moisture. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use um, cotton wool balls, which I have found are probably the easiest way to kind of protect the roots but also keep them moist. So you'd wrap them into kind of into the bits of the roots that need all of that padding and spray them with water and then um, wrap it in a film or a plastic bag. So I'm just going to lean like lay it down and then I literally just get these balls and I just put them kind of around the roots you can like unravel them and at first they're quite like dry so they can kind of stick to the roots that need kind of padding around them and then you'll want to spray them I get my little sprayer any last bits you can just put around the edge you can also do like that where you just literally dip it in some water we basically then wrap this thing up so so it looks kind of funny can you see so this is wet and the roots are gonna sit there and hopefully gonna be okay this is all wrapped in but the stem is exposed still and is not gonna sit with these wet cotton wool pieces and kind of rot you can even dry it <laughs> like and then I'm just going to tape it. So, Monstera done. So, oops. Um, you've got, it doesn't look amazing. Like, I'm not going to lie, like it doesn't look beautiful because it's like wrapped in cling film. The root just here is there. It's basically encapsulated in like moist cotton wool. But for this, I'm going to just wrap it in bubble wrap. Um, I always ask my customers to reuse the bubble wrap because I, I don't like using it. If I can, I'd use cardboard bubble wrap, but 
um, it's not very uh, protective, so I just use a tiny little bit. And I'm reusing this from a Christmas decoration delivery I made. It's not like a particularly neat wrap, it's literally just to kind of give an extra barrier. And then I'll put one of my little stickers on it. Done. <laughs> and that fits really nicely. So I'll show you how I arrange them in the box, but I'll just put it in there for, for now. So the next cutting we're sending to this customer is actually this adorable philodendron white princess cutting. So you can see we've got two leaves and a new one coming, which is quite exciting. Um, roots are doing well here. We've got some little baby ones growing. So what I will do is a very, very similar process, but it will just be on a smaller scale. I've got my plastic wallet ready here and I've got my cotton wool kind of thin thing and I'm just literally gonna spray it super lightly, not like wet soaking. And then we just literally You just literally wrap the roots on it. And it's just kind of really gentle. I want the end to be dry because the end is obviously an open cut. It's not rotten at the moment, it's fine. Nothing's happened, but like, I want to prevent any rot from happening whilst it's in shipment. Okay. And then you basically have this little like pouch. So then I just, take the top and try and get it like as much of the stem out of the bag because you again same as the monstera you don't want the stem to be sitting like soggy in there you only really want the cotton wool to be around the roots yeah so it's like that okay so now for the last one which is a bit different again um so i've got the variegated maranta this one's actually not that variegated so we've got completely bare root um the variegation on this is like really minimal um so with this one because the roots are so like you probably can see there are like so many um you've got like a really like intricate amount here i'm gonna do um the water hydration granules so it's really simple you just get your water granules these cost me seven pounds maybe ten pounds on amazon so you open up the bag, they look like that. So they're like a hard clay, dry right now. And I'm gonna just dip the roots in. Actually a little bit easier when you've got a fuller bag because I'm kind of running out. But you just literally put the roots in and then I shake them. And it basically completely covers every wet part because they obviously stick to the wet parts and they cover it and then you can open it back up. Also apparently, well, I'll read it out. Um, they are a starch-based hydrating granule which absorbs over 80 times of its weight in water. It then forms a gel around root system that releases water to these roots when needed, reducing the need for watering and it helps to prevent leaching of nutrients. Biodegradable, non-toxic and odorless. <laughs> Looks a little bit like messy, but Oh. but here oh, here we have the roots are covered okay so like they're nice and covered with this water hydrating granule so then I'm just gonna whoops stick it in like that so they're in and you can still see like they're not obviously soiled you know um and then I give them a spray like in the bag so they're all ready they've been like sprayed and basically that is gonna stay wet for like up to like three months apparently um which is quite nice because i it means that if it gets delayed in customs which obviously i hate but if it does at least it's like got a chance of surviving so i'm literally just going to tape up the top like that <laughs> So the only thing I would say with this one is that if you are doing this to let your customers know, because I have to write like, this is hydration granules, you just wash them off when they arrive, put them in there like biodegradable, so you just put them in the compost um, or in the garden, whatever you want. But basically that's um, something I want to tell my customers so that they're not like, what the hell is this? 
Um, so yeah, that's that one. And that's it, done. So now I'm gonna prepare the box, get everything packed in, and I'll do a final show of how I pack them all together at the end. Okay, so I've arranged both the cuttings because there's actually was two that was ordered, so I only showed you one because they're both the same. I've taped everything down and then I will just pack around these with bubble wrap and the cotton wool balls for like really fragile bits like these leaves. Tiny bit of bubble wrap and then the rest I will try and all do as tissue paper because I prefer to use something you can recycle. So always trying to be a bit more sustainable. So yeah. Okay, it's looking a bit messy, but honestly what we've done is it's just kind of packed around. So there's the leaves, there's the new leaf. They've got some nice cotton wool to kind of rest on. And then the bubble wrap kind of fills in these gaps. So it's kind of all fitting together like a puzzle. And then now what I will do is I'll put tissue paper over the top and then a thicker cardboard like this. And this is going to provide like an extra kind of support to keep it all down from the top. Okay, so it's all packed in there. Um, and then I put a layer on top of this lovely tissue paper because I like to make it kind of presentable. I'll whack a sticker on. Then what I need to do is put the phytosanitary certificate on. So I'm just gonna put both pieces because I have to have all of it really clear on the top. Like it's literally like the first thing that they're gonna see if they're gonna open the box, the customs teat people that is. Um, and then I literally just close it up. I also give it a little like wiggle and I can hear that nothing's moving, but great. Check that everything's in there and it's good to go. So we're in. And you can't hear much movement, which is a good thing. I always write on the, the front live plant sticker, use my fragile tape. I also put the sender address really clear here. And then obviously when I do the declaration for my parcel force, um, writing i always write five sanitary certificate is inside all right so i hope that was helpful for everybody i don't know if there's maybe something that i've missed but do let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to know but this is just my way of doing it so it's just my opinion based on my experience so there you have it i hope you loved that video i hope it was helpful i hope the documentation at the end was a helpful reminder that you cannot ship a plant unless you have phytosanitary certification which you can get through the government body that you have in your country for the UK it's pretty easy if anyone's ever stuck with it you can just reach out to me and I'm more than happy to help because most importantly you don't want to get your plant confiscated in customs so get your documentation pay the extra bit it is worth it please let me know what you think of the video down below and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day